Hello, in this video we will learn about the inflammation due to chronic eating. Uh, not intermittently but eating snack as well as a three time meal. So what will be happen? Let's begin to understand the quick overview. This is a person when eat the food and go into the large intestine and that is the major target for the inflammation. But a lot of problem can occur in the stomach, for example the enzyme deficiency as well as other problem. But here is the large intestine containing ascending, transverse, descending and sigmoid colon and rectum and anus. So this is the cross section which that will be show here is the mucous membrane will protect as a barrier immunity and food will, ne uh, will not contact with the epithelium of the large intestine while inside is the lymphatic duct and the lymph node are present and the antigen presenting cell is recognized the pathogen to show the antigen uh, to the an uh, CD has T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte. For example, when the pathogen will be arrive or some complication. So this continuously activation due to the food arrival into the large intestine will continuously affect the immune system for the regulation and protect the uh, against the pathogenicity. While the small intestine and stomach also involved but stomach is more acidic so the acidophile bacteria can be possible but not others and the small intestine also contain a uh, uh, immune system clusters of the antigen presenting cell so this is the when food will travel and the peristaltic movement involved and in this way the mucous membrane it will help to expel the food down so this food basically moving downward from the ascending to transfers to the descending colon and in this way the basically the peristalsis movement this is the barrier immunity can be ruptured due to the overeating and the mucous membrane mucous membrane protect the pathogenic bacteria allergen as usual as well as other foods which that will not contact due to the mucous membrane and the presence of mucous membrane will help to inflammation decrease but the mucus when decrease so the microbiota damage damage microbiota biota, biome to kill the pathogen and E. coli and short chain fatty acid deficiency will occur due to the mutualistic bacteria will kill as well as other due to the immune response itself will uh, damage the mutualistic bacteria as well as antigen presenting cell we recognize this pathogen uh, either it can be a mutualistic or pathogenic due to the rupture the ulceration of uh, ulceration by eating the mucous membrane will rupture and the easily pathogen can invade so the innate immune cell will produce the interleukin 1 2 and which that stimulate the macrophage mast cell and create the allergic reaction and that will lead to cause inflammation on the other hand the dendritic cell which that recognize basically is the normally i am uh, giving the short uh, for understand naive t cell will proliferate after the recognition of antigen to the cd4 and 8 and the cd4 is responsible for the activation of b naive b cell to proliferate to b memory cell and plasma cell while the cytokines will produce will increase the inflammation because it is inflammatory mediators. The plasma cell produce the antibodies. These antibodies basically against that which that after the recognized through dendritic cell, antigen presenting cell, which that is present in the uh, in the epithelium between the epithelium, it is also known as the Langerhan cell. So this is the optionization, the anti, uh, antigen, antibody, immune complex formation will lead to kill due to the macrophage will eat it. So the damage epithelium, 
the damage of epithelium cause uh, ulceration and cell injury and cause chronic inflammation due to the also infected epithelium will uh, as produce the inflammatory cytokines and recruit the immune cell for killing uh, and clear the pathogenicity clear the disease infection so the epithelial cell life span three to four days and regenerate new epithelial cells remember so the lymphatic system is here so remember this is the continuously inflammation due to the chronic eating will lead to continuously inf inflammation will lead to cause uh, cause uh, basically uh, autoimmune disorder like lupus erythematosus and other uh, immune disorder which that will lead to uh, immune uh, autoimmune disorder and autoimmune reaction will occur so in this way the fasting is important to inflammation stop by the resting of the hour stimulation of the immune cell to prepare for next meal in this way we can decrease inflammation and autoimmune disorder so the chronic eating habit will lead to cause the autoimmune disorder in the current period of the uh, in this current decade so the chronic eating habit will lead to inflammation, enzyme decline, indigestion partially and food digest to defecate our uh, partially food digest to defecate and use of mucus to ulcer uh, because the basically uh, uh, decrease decre and defecate and our use of mucus to ulcers cause and on the other hand the disturb the microbiome due to ulceration and inflammation kill the commensals and mutualistic bacteria which that provide the short chain fatty acid and ketones basically and vitamin k and cell injury can be occur due to uh, causes epigenetic mutation and lead to increases the chances of oncogenic on gene activation for cell survival because cell want to survive but it will be a uh, convert their dna uh, epigenetic mutation will lead to cause the dna damage and other problem and food also itself will cause damaging of the uh, epithelium will lead to cause the colorectal cancer and the colon cancer descending uh, transverse and ascending so the much absorption of food lead to our uh, load of insulin to damage the insulin receptor and cause type 2 diabetes and obesity. So in for short, hypertension increase, diabetes and obesity also increase due to the overeating. Uh, you should uh, know about that. So thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like and share.